Hey guys, welcome to the Tech Source. Now we did a video not too long back about the 2010 Christmas Budget PC. Well, that computer was so good and well, it was so popular, I actually got to build the second one. Um, we, so we built the second one, it's slightly different. Now the last one was built in a fractal design to find our three case, which is designed for silence. Well, this is in a half 912, which is designed for airflow. So it is, yes, a little noisy and it's a, more, a little more audible, but it's all good. So, guys, stick around. We'll be checking this one out a little bit in depth. But if you do want to check out the specs and um, all the benchmarks, check out our other video. All right, guys. So, as I said, here's our budget PC number two. Uh, this one's built in a half. Now, the only differences between, if you've watched our other video, between this one and the other one is the power supply and case. And, well, the fans we used. First fans we used were Yatelings. Now we're using Cooler Master R4 fans. They're spent at 2,000 RPM. They are a little noisy. Um, in the case, I changed it around. Now the Cooler Master half does not come with the 200 millimeter fan here. I put a 200 millimeter white LED one. Uh, we got a DVD drive, and then I added two R4 2,000 RPM fans. Both of these fans push 90 CFM at 19 decibels. The Cooler Master says. Now we're going to take off the side here. I did take the front fan that the uh, case comes with and put it on the side to blow cool air on the video card. So we have a, for hard drives and storage, we have a one terabyte Western Digital Black SATA 3 drive. We have for power supply, we have a Silverstone 650 watt, as opposed to our old 600 watt, so there's a little bit more juice and it's a modular power supply. Um, for a CPU, we got the 955 Black Edition AMD. We have 4 gigs of RAM. We have an ATI Radeon 6850 card. This is the XFX one. Which and RAM is that? This is the uh, this is a DDR3 1600 CL9 timings. Uh, now the CPU G skill. G skill. Now you can hear the CPU fan is ramping up. It is noisy as hell. So that is going to be switched with a Hyper 212, uh, hopefully because it is too noisy and it's. It's unbearable. The stock AMD fans are just horrible. Um, as you can see, it's nicely wired. This is a really good case to work in. Uh, lots of good uh, cable management tools it had. The back stock fan doesn't push any air, so I'm probably going to switch those with another R4. And it's along with the side fan, I'm going to switch those with two more R4s. Now, with the rest of the build, we also included a 22-inch Acer monitor. This is the V229W. This is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. And for $130, we couldn't believe the quality of this monitor and how good it is. It's relatively thin. Uh, the image quality is amazing. It's, uh, the resolution is 1650 by 1050. Yep. And then we also included, along with that, is this OCZ uh, keyboard. Now, uh, this is a really nice keyboard. Uh, I couldn't believe it. It was a really good deal, and I picked it up because the Nine guy... Nine bucks. Uh, yeah, it goes on sale sometimes for $9. The keys actually feel really good. Yeah, and it came with replacement WASD keys, space bar, and arrow keys. And it's got all your multimedia keys on the side. It's got your gaming mode, your uh, My Computer button, mail, uh, homepage, bookmarks, page forward, back, refresh. On the other side, we got music. And play, pause, stop, fast forward, rewind, volume up, down, and mute. And then we got all our programmable programmable macro buttons and your mode button. So you can change all the macro keys uh, to three different modes. So we're definitely hanging on the game you're playing, which is really nice. So it's a really fast system and we also got the, totally forgot, the mouse. So we got a Cooler Master Sentinel Advanced uh, Mouse. This is a really nice mouse. You can change all the DPI settings on the fly. You can see the screen here. You can also change the colors of it. And you can, as you can see, one of the setups I got Oh, just passed it. When I said I got, look, you can change the color here, and these can be a different color as well. And it's weighted. Really nice. And, mouse. and we built this entire system for one thousand one hundred dollars. Taxes Not bad. in everything. Not a bad system. They got keyboard, mouse. All they need is a pair of speakers and a desk to put it. Not a bad system. So, anyways, guys, if you do want to check out more specs about the hardware in the system, please check out our first video about our budget PC. I'm going to put an annotation in the middle of the video here and the beginning of the video. I'll put it along with, actually, I'll put it on the whole bar across the top of the video. Um, so that's the, our version 2 of our build. 
I've loaded this up on the 650 watt power supply. It works perfectly fine, full load, everything. It's perfect, completely stable. And that CPU fan needs to go. That is too noisy. And anyways, guys, remember to uh, like our Facebook group. Join us on Steam. And as always, rate thumbs up, that one right there, or the one Danny did, whichever thumbs up you prefer. And subscribe. Yep. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Stick around.